So here I am trying to tear my paper, print my paper for printing. Uh, before I start anything, I usually tear my paper, my nice paper, um, have all the stacks, stack of paper ready before I start printing. In this video, I am I pull out my cutting mat in a straight edge. Uh, we have multiple straight edge and rulers in the studio. I grab one of one of the larger one. It's like nice and heavy, so it provides enough weight, sufficient weight for me to tear these uh, heavy, medium to heavy weight Western paper quite effectively. Here I um, I measure the block, which is eight by six in uh, with the size of the paper being 22 by 30 inches and now I would have an uh, inch and a half border uh, from the top and left and right and then the bottom will be a little heavier as you can see and yeah, for printmakers we love this uh, naturally formed deckled edges uh, which you can probably see uh, slightly um, it happens in the process of paper making um, and then it has this beautiful natural uh, uneven edges we we consider them beautiful so I usually try to leave them as much as possible the only time I have to use a razor blade uh, uh, or a knife to cut it out is I need a sharp corners to use it for my registration technique but since this is a one layer uh, black and white linoleum uh, print. I decided to just tear my paper instead of cutting it. So here are here I am just going through and tearing down all my papers. Oh and one thing I forgot to mention but always measure twice and cut once. Uh, this is very important in order to not screw up your paper size. So now I'm trying to set up my uh, ink slab. I usually try to wear my gloves because I didn't. When I'm handling the ink cans, usually it's a little dirty with oil based ink being hard to dry. Uh, in this case, the brayer that I found was also covered in ink. So, first I have to do a little bit of cleanup. This is always a frustrated, frustrating part for me when I have to start with a cleanup. So, everyone make sure you. When, when I get to clean up, I will explain again, but like, make sure you leave your work area pristine clean. So here I am wearing gloves and using half dirty rag and trying to clean up this um, brayer that was left behind that was dirty. And I also realized the ink can is also covered in black ink, so that's a big no-no. Uh, again, I don't want to do other person's job where students are supposed to clean up, but I, I, I'm very picky about the studio equipment, so I'm starting with cleaning up someone else's mess right here. Before you pick up an ink with your ink knife, you you gotta make sure it's nice and clean so that you don't contaminate the ink. I would usually scrape off the top, not gouge the ink because we want to keep it nice and clean, and we don't want to we don't want the ink to be dried with a huge gouge mark because that's it. That is gonna that is gonna give us a lot of uh, waste. And these ink cans are not cheap. Um, each of them are 25 bucks to 30 bucks, so we want to save money here. 
only grab enough for your prints. Um, you adjust a little goes a long way. So here I just grabbed a little bit, which I believe it's gonna last for my edition of prints. One thing I almost forgot is setting up the press. So here I am trying to figure out the pressure that I need for my linoleum block. The current pressure is set for a Shino block, so I have to figure out how much pressure that I'm gonna need for my linoleum block, which is significantly thinner than the Shina block that we have in the bookstore. So here I'm guesstimating, um, I'm lowering the pressure a little bit and trying it. I can definitely feel when the printing press, the big roller, is hitting the linoleum. Um, if it's if I don't feel anything, which means the pressure is not tight enough. So I'm slowly figuring out um, and lowering the 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 roller or tightening the pressure uh, notch by notch and trying to get a feel of when the roller is engaging or touching the block and once I figure that out then I will set the pressure and then I will start inking up the block and start printing. So here I am making an ink uh, slab and I'm trying to find and pick up uh, any small bits of uh, dried ink which can be a common thing if you're scooping out from the top layer of the ink can. Um, the dried ink will become a uh, debris in your print so you don't want any of those so I would try to pick those up as whenever I see them on the ink uh, slab or the pile of ink I will pick it up before it gets on the block. Once I'm done with inking up the block, the first thing I'm going to do is pulling a proof. I'm pretty confident that my block is inked up enough, um, but instead of going straight to my nice paper, I would print on a piece of newsprint um, so that I would have a sense of whether if I had enough ink on the block, um, whether the print printing press is set up correctly. So the first print or first print is always going to be a proof and I will continue printing proofs until until I dial in the pressure of the printing press and the amount of ink uh, that I'm applying to the block. This is my second print which I went on and started printing on my nice paper which is this gray uh, Stonehenge paper. It has a nice tan on it. And then after I pulled this first print, not the proof but first print supposed to be, I realized the image was a lot lighter than I thought. The one on the newsprint was nice and solid black. The one on the nicer paper, uh, my first print turned out to be a lot lighter than I wanted to be. So here I had to do a little bit of problem solving. So I added a little more ink on my ink slab and I start counting uh, my sets, like how many uh, times I'm inking up the block and then uh, be between uh, 
charging my brayer and I also added half a notch of pressure so I realized that improved my prints um, a lot and I was very happy with the result so I started uh, repeating the same routine I would ink up the block uh, charge the brayer and then ink up the block again I do that three times so three sets of inking up and then I would uh, run it through the press and then I have a nice consistent edition of prints and once you're done with printing then the next thing and the last thing I suppose uh, is cleanup cleanup is very important I usually encourage people to clean up uh, and make it a lot cleaner make it cleaner than where how you found the workstation there's always going to be a little bit of messiness depending on who used it uh, right before you or before you um, my goal is to clean it pristine clean so that no one can imagine like this workstation was used in my eyes um, or at least like clean it, clean it better than the last person so I would scrape off all the ink with a razor blade I would pull out extra ink from the brayer and scrape it off uh, put it on this news or phone book page I will repeat this process until I exhaust the amount of ink that's left on the brayer which takes me took me like three or four times and then I will use Gamsol uh, this is a solvent to roll on the brayer and then roll out on the ink slab and I'll wipe, wipe it off as a half dirty rag which is in the half dirty rag can on the uh, on the uh, towards the brayer side brayer hanging wall and I can just wipe it off and I'll, I'll probably have to do it again uh, in order to get rid of all the remaining ink on the brayer so here I'm doing it again try to get it as clean as possible um, try to get the size try to get the handle try to get the middle bracket everything usually has some kind of ink uh, stuck onto your brayer and everything else you you've used compared um, for example your ink knife your razor blade uh, your ink can even some of your cleaning supplies might have ink on it if you are not careful to Drake on them. Bitch, don't follow me. Uh, I don't want my cheese. Uh, money be the villain. I'm still gobbling on my green. They're like, ooh, they lock you like a beaver. Yellow fellow, he just need a beamer. Or a chick like Rita. She won't get wild. Tell the she bust it down. Showing me she with the bounce. I mean, she got me like, wow. No one should give me a smile. Walk on a square like a towel. I gotta wrap it up now. Meet her at eight. I'm dropping them out. And the last thing you want to do is clean up the glass table. I would just use uh, simple green. I'll spray it all over. Uh, I will let it sit for a minute or two to make the um, degreaser break down any of the oil content. And I will use uh, again half dirty rack to wipe all the surface. And then I usually go over with relatively clean or almost clean um, dry rag to finish up the cleaning. And once you're done with your rags, uh, some are completely saturated with uh, ink and solvents that goes into a dirty can. Anything else that's like lightly used or has more than half of the rag like cleaned and put it back into the half dirty rag can. Oh, and last thing, don't forget to wash your hands throughout the printing process when it gets dirty.